Hello there, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today I would like to test out this new part, it's new to me and pretty new to the game, the inflatable airlock. Um, my first thought when I read the description was that this could be great for um, when you've got a docking port that's sort of nestled inside of your design and the description says um, when that last distance is just too far, fill the gap. So, um, yeah, so it seems like you open it and then you can dock to it. And so lots of times what will happen is your design might have a docking port like right here and you've got this, this big thing in the way, whatever it might be, uh, that wouldn't happen in this case, but you get the idea. So if it can extend, then that would be great. So I thought I would test it out. I slapped this together pretty quick, although I spared you having to watch me try to design it, because it took a while. Um, so basically, this is going to launch. Ooh, there's my nuke. OK, there's the engine. This is the upper stage, and it splits into two pieces. And this piece will try to dock with this piece. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And um, you can put Kerbals in here. Like, you can transfer them in here, which is interesting. And then they can exit it like a hatch. So what I want to test is if it will dock. And I'm also doing some random contract that I got, which uh, is going to put me in uh, Kerbal stationary orbit. So we're going to do that. And this is the goes A. I hope you like it. All right. SAS on, maximum thrust, launch. Um, OK, let's try that again. Okay, I'm back. What was only moments for you was quite a lot of design effort from me. Um, although this looks pretty similar to what I started with. I just tuned, tuned, tuned down the engine. This used to be a mainsail. Now it's a skipper, which has about half the thrust and a little better ISP in vacuum. Still got the two kickbacks. Um, I put another wing here on accident and then kept it because it seemed like a good idea. And I'm just going to try to fly better. We're in space now and didn't even use up all of the fuel in our launch stage. But um, I don't care. I'm just going to dump it because our nuke will be plenty. So here's our second stage. And I've got my solar panels set to hotkey 3. So those unfurl. We can't see anything because we're on the night side, unfortunately. But um, there's our beautiful boy. And... You know what I should have done? So my, okay, so here's what I forgot is that this is the geostationary orbital height, but they want you to be um, on top of Melkol's crevice here, which means you have to time when you reach this orbital height, because if you're, so uh, geostationary or Kerbal stationary means that you're always over the same point. So if I was up over here, I wouldn't actually be able to move over here without um, adjusting my orbit. So what can I do? I wonder if anybody knows a good way of doing this. My guess is, okay, let's make a, let's plot a maneuver. Thank you to Mark Watney, my parakeet, for supplying background sheeps. So it takes two hours to get up to this orbital height. Um, the Day on Kerbin is six hours, so that's one third of its rotation. So by the time it takes me to get there, this thing will be um, here. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like hard to judge where a third is here, I guess. One, two, three, something like that. So over here. So if I want to get there at the same time, I should probably start burning pretty soon, like, 
Maybe here. You know what? Let's just kind of wing it. I know you guys are anxious to see the point of this video, which was to see if this inflatable airlock can be docked to. But don't worry, we'll get there. 20 second burn, piece of cake. Is it really only 20 seconds? One, I'm, I'm used to nukes being so weak, but I'm usually carrying like a 100 ton payload with them, and this payload is way less than that. So um, hopefully 20 seconds is correct. Otherwise, I'm going to miss my window here. Wow, of course, it's a minute 45. Uh, well, you know what, that might be... F Ugh. And we need to get this up to 2.8, so let's keep an eye on that. We're almost at 1 million. 1 million. Uh, eight, six. Uh, let's just feather our boost a little bit. Hey, look, that's within a thousand, so I'm going to call that good enough. And let's plot a maneuver here, and now our calculator hopefully knows how strong our nukes are. The reason that it miscalculated, if you don't know, is that it thought I still had the thrust of the previous engine, because that's the last thing I thrusted with. Um, so it was calculating based off of the skippers? Do I have the skipper, right? It was basing it off the skipper's thrust, not the nuke's thrust. Um, so you gotta be careful about that. Okay, so that's pretty circular. Let's see if I guessed right. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Oh, let's definitely track the maneuver node. Hey, it says that we made it even though we're off slightly, but I'm okay with that. And you know what, I don't even know how to correct the <laughs> orbit anymore since it removed it. Um, hold stationary correctly. Does it not think I'm doing that? Does, is this not close enough? It'll give me the one degree offset, but not this offset. Are you kidding me? This is BS. <sighs> you know what, I'll fix it later. Let's do what we came here to do, which is test out if this thing will dock to this. So we're going to face the sun so we can actually see what we're doing. And let's, um, let's open airlock. Nice. Let's separate our stages here. Let's control this guy. Good, he does control. Last time I did this, I forgot to put the RGU on there. Um, let's control from here, let's target this, and let's turn on our RCS. Come on. Bonk. It does not appear to be magneting at all. Um, oops. Bonk. Okay, well, we've got the junior here, because um, I read online that the junior is what docks to it, which seems weird, because it's not the same size as the junior. But let's give it a try. Let's control from the junior. I don't know if the junior has the same up and down orientation. Oh, wow, look at that. It does. Okay, it docks to the junior. Um, I don't know why, because it's not the same size. It's the same size as the standard. It is very strange. I'm guessing you can't, you can't deflate this when you're docked. Um, but check out that. I know, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to do. I mean, it worked. It, it docks to the junior. Confirmed. Um, obviously, my contract is shot because I'm not apparently over Melkle's crevice. So uh, we're in, we're ahead of it. So we would need to boost prograde. That'll slow us down, and then retro. But that's oh my god, this huge pain. That is such a huge pain. You know what? I'm just gonna redo this whole mission. I forget it. You guys don't need to watch that happen. Um, let's observe my mystery view here. 
right at home. Uh, am I really, am I seriously not getting this contract? Okay, fine. Forget it. We're reverting. Well, I'm calling this a mission success. Thanks for watching, everybody.